It's been boarded up. Really, oh, Jay? Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, that's where the growling's coming from. Is it? Yeah. Keep it's like... Yeah. <laughs> oh. Whoa! It's all good. At last! <gasps> Hello, Victor. You seem to recognize me. I don't get it. Goodbye, Victor. <laughs> his body is covered in tattoos, and they were carved into his flesh with something sharp. Maybe the body's might. still warm. Boxes and spent shells. Oh, okay. Nothing useful. <laughs> An old wardrobe. Who uses the Don't shoot. I'm an arm. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Wallace. Oh, he's dead. Why not? Oh, god damn. A key. This should help downstairs. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, And it sounded like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. Damn. He recognized me. And it sounded like he was going to get on the level. He's dead. Looks like a bad case of lead poisoning. Oh. So, Jack, you're stupid. <laughs> Stick your head in the window. See if you get shot. I wonder who's still shooting at. Is there another door? There's one more. Oh. Poisoning by the looks of it. Oh, it was a candle, not a candle. Uh oh. <laughs> He's dead. They're all dead. A diary. Diary. This will make interesting reading. We'll read that tonight. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm gonna leave because he's not like this. You should read the diary though. I will. He's vomits all over. Go downstairs. And use my key. Is it on that door? August 20th, 1915. We have been watching him now for two months. I can feel my anticipation growing as the day of contact grows near. Victor has not yet divulged his final plan for bringing Mr. Walters to us. All I know is that we must succeed. Son of a bitch. August 24th, 1915. The sermon today was inspiring. Victor enlightened us with a story of the great race transcending the bounds of time to visit his dreams. Of the conscious things on this earth, and in the ocean depths, we are but servants to a greater design. I can only hope that my faith during these last days will win me favor when our masters step through the gate. I want to read this one. <laughs> August 29th, 1915. The experiments below have claimed one more of our order. Another volunteer is needed, but many are willing. We are truly blessed through our faithful service, now that his coming grows so close. My turn. September 3rd, 1915. Preparations are complete, and Victor's plan is in motion. He will arrive soon. Surely by now he must suspect, suspect his true nature, or at least question the nature of his gifts. September 6, 1915. He has come. Finally. It begins. <laughs> he came. <laughs> Thank you. Show Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's right there. <laughs> that does not look like a penis. <laughs> no. came. That's... Oh, no. Uh -huh. You get it? I get it. Okay. Stupid. It's unlocked. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can close it. I don't know. Are those photos on the wall? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Should inspect them, maybe. Oh, he's, he's doing something on his own there. I don't understand. I mean, all of these photos. Who is that gorgeous? All of them. <laughs> I'm so sexy. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? Uh, it must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. Back 
gotta think. Think, Jack. All these photos and clippings are of me. I just don't get it. From the dates on some of these clippings, this crazed mob must have been following me for years. Another key. Boston's strangest church. Those of our readers who live near its headquarters in an ordinary looking Boston residence will need no introduction to the Fellowship of Yith, or whatever the cult's name is. For those who have not encountered this mysterious semi religious group before, a few words of explanation are necessary. Since our country's founding upon the basis of religious freedom, its shores have been home to many small religious groups outside the mainstream. <laughs> mainstream. No small number are headquartered in the states of New England, where the pilgrims themselves sought a new world free of religious persecution. But the question must be asked, at what point does a religion become a cult and its trusting adherents, not to mention its blameless neighbors, become victims? That is the question this journal poses in regard to the Fellowship of Yith. In a month-long investigation, our intrepid reporters have diligently sought out the truth behind this so-called church. Its origins are somewhat mysterious, the more so since the group's leaders declined to be interviewed or to assist our investigation in any way. However, it seems that the fellowship was founded more than 20 years ago by one of Victor Holt, based on a, re on a revelation he had received from beyond the confines of this world. Holt has not been seen for almost six years. His followers apparently believe that he is communing with the mysterious powers behind his faith and that he is shortly to return with new insights and teaching. All this sounds like a harmless, if eccentric, spiritual group, a little different from many others. However, those who make their homes near, <clears throat> near to the Fellowship's headquarters tell a different, more sinister story. The adherents of this obscure sect are to be found loitering on street corners, casting menacing glances at the earth. They are innocuous neighbors and frequently engaging in acts of petty crime, which the local police seem powerless to prevent or redress. Strange lights have been observed burning in the windows of the old house at all hours of the day and night. They change color unpredictably and cast weird, unintelligible shadows. It's not a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Even more disturbing are the noises which have been heard to issue from within the mysterious building. They in include chanting, unearthly music, and worst of all, screams like those of lost souls in agony. Many of the sex neighbors are, confused, are convinced that its services include human sacrifice or similar atrocities. Those few who dared complain to the police were told that, because the house is private property, and because there is no concrete evidence of any wrongdoing, they must, the most they can do is file a noise complaint. Are the horrors of Salem being reenacted in our city more than two centuries on? Is this fellowship of Yith engaged in unspeakable and criminal acts of worship involving torture and sacrifice? Why is nothing being done to ease the fear and distress they cause to the local community? Jesus. A source within the police department speaking on the condition of an anonymity, is that how you say that? Anonymity. Anonymity. Tell the Globe that the Fellowship is suspected of involvement in a number of local crimes, but so far the lack of evidence and the reluctance of nervous witnesses to come forward have thwarted any official <laughs> investigation. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, we say. Where the police cannot or will not investigate, the Globe shall continue to act in the interests of Boston citizens, fearlessly exposing the truth about the so-called church and its followers. Last one. Our findings will be published in these pages over the following months, so that all may know the truth. Editor's note, it is with great sorrow that the Globe announces the death of reporter Howard Adelstone, who was leading the paper's investigation into the Fellowship of Yig when he apparently drowned in Boston Harbor. The coroner has ruled his death on suicide. Our condolences go out to his family. Well, that's... Just tack that on at the end. I don't think that was a suicide. Yeah, I don't... I don't I'm, and maybe he found something so horrible he just maybe. couldn't live with it. Either way, it's, yeah. it's the yith. Yeah, it's the yith. It's a yith. Confused. Um, That's what did it. Is there another door that was locked? No, you went in there. It's unlocked. Oh, no, she did. Nope, this is the library. Never mind.
was that noise? Did that make it rain? <gasps> Chewbacca! Chewbacca, is that you? It appears to be a private study area. It appears to be a private study area. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. So you can't read it then? Um, this manuscript looks medieval but claims to be a translation from classical Greek of a far older work from before the time of the first humans. The pages are stained, faded, and even burned in some places, making reading difficult. The legible sections tell the history of unthinkable distant antiquity. They speak of races so strange as to be beyond human comprehension. Henshin. <laughs> Laugh at me one more time. <laughs> <laughs> and wars fought across vast gulfs of time and space. There are concepts so utterly alien that they sound like absolute madness. Time travel, travel, time travel, <laughs> flying polyps, mental projection, astral projection. Great race of yith. It makes you dizzy just to read it. Flying polyps. What's a flying polyp? What? Polyps? I, don't know, I think a polyp is a tumor. I thought a polyp was like a little microscopic thingy. I don't know. Like an amoeba. Because I know that, like, you can have them in. For nutcases, they seem quite literate. The doctor's like, you a polyp. These books are it's really like old, and most of them are in strange languages I don't understand. I don't have time to read. I'm a detective, not a pen pusher. Fine, Jack. I don't have time to look at it. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. <laughs> roar, roar. I don't like that. That's really creepy. That's just you. Yeah. And then there's just going to be like something behind me. <laughs> we'll all jump together. You. Can you use that? Like a track with this at all? <laughs> no? Maybe there's like a secret passageway. Maybe. Oh, oh. God. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Just swell. I can climb that. I will claw my way back up. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah. What? What is that? Man He's dead. There. The beam must have fallen and crushed his skull. Oh god. That's unfortunate. Do you hear that? It's okay. like heavy Wait. breathing. Dead bodies, and plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. There's like bugs on them. Nasty. Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. And mustard and ketchup. <laughs> Delicious, look at that. Wait, what is that? Looks like an organ. organs. God, what the hell is all Still this? Alive. Maybe. Why is everybody always naked in this game? I've never seen such equipment before. Who could have made such a machine? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Just push. I don't think that button did it. Wow. Crazy now. It's like, oh god. I think he, he killed him. Good job. Look, are those like organs in there? At least he's out of his misery. Look at, his brain is yeah. look, look at the um, little glass things to the left of you. 